Yeah. We're back. Welcome to another part. Ugh. Wow. Force cracking. Anyway, we're back. Thanks for joining me. Oh uh, yes, this is the point where we talk to our old friend here. Like making it all as this plot is about to get thick. Ten years, the law is morally cracking down. Makes it really hard to do. Be super hard to plan a funeral, huh? That's why I went back and uh, got some uh, stuff. Yeah, I got some healing items because I was waiting for the, uh, because I have to think about the boss, in which I do not have any footage of because, um, I have no idea why, what happened to it. Gone. Just don't worry. I just have to replace with something. Don't worry. I'll come up with something. Had to make another cut here because for some reason my controller was fighting me. And I was having trouble just staring at these pictures on the wall. I blame aliens. That's what I blame for this. And I got pretty weird, so I just made a little cut. So don't let me, like, fight with the camera. Well, watch me completely fight with the camera. Do like a little look down. Kill her regard. This day I had no idea. Do I get a badge refill? Now what is Well. So that's the guy who bashed you. Yeah, this guy looks like he's belonging to Street Fighter. My, I don't doubt that. I don't think he's bloody. I don't know, I don't have any bad blood with anybody. But, you know, as like a gender, I don't have blood anyway. I just bleed the souls of my victim. At least according to my Tinder profile, I do. There's Nishi. There's our old brother who's fallen to the dark side of the force. He has the most evil haircut known to man. The Japanese mullet. Actually, I have no idea what that haircut's called. <laughs> what that haircut's called. I have no idea what that haircut is called, so. Correct me if you want to, but. I'm gonna go with Japanese mullet because it's funny. That's my cat. That's my little baby. That's my Sir Platinum. Yes, you are. You're my baby. He's so fascinated by my little microphone, like he wasn't pretty with it. Probably because of the snowball with a round top on top of it. He's my baby. Yes, you are. You probably hear his little foot. Uh, Footprints, both feet, both steps.
The one thing I gotta say about editing the sound of these videos is that I become extremely self-conscious about all the little noises you don't hear or notice. Because the snowball, and it just picks everything up. Like, uh... One recording I didn't notice that I was swiping my uh I was swiping a bug off my leg and in a snowball you could hear the buzzing of the little fly and you could hear me swiping my uh the bug off my leg and I was like oh my god this picks up everything you know and I have a speech impediment so I stumbled my words all the time and uh the snowball makes me super self-conscious about that. Because when I listen back to Ario to edit it, I'm just like, oh my god, what's wrong with me? Oh no, what's wrong with me? I have a speech pen. Okay, this is, okay, this is pretty cool. And this is well, he gets shot. Doesn't get killed, mind you. This gets shot through the window. And nobody else notices the sniper shot. They just see him and go like, Oh, he's trying to kill another person. Well, we gotta kill him. We gotta do it. The bro code, my friend. Yeah, apparently he knows what the uh, what happened to Yuri in the in the ten billion yen, but now he's uh can't just shout it out to me right now because we got company. <sighs> it turns out I'm just gonna have to uh buy my way out of this. The combat system is a lot of fun. I have no issues with the camera during the combat, but for some reason, while I'm trying to get in the first person, it just the camera is fighting me. I don't know. I think it might have something to do with the size of the room and the position of the camera. Yeah, that's my cat. That's my little baby star platinum. I'm petting him. I I don't know how this is going to sound like on the snowball. But he's purring. He's over there looking at me. It's all being so adorable. I gotta jump out the window, man, like an action star. And not suffer any damage. No, what are you doing? Come on. I'm trying to unplug the snowball. What are you doing? Oh. Yeah, can you hear it purr? Oh, we gotta escape! We gotta escape, Sir Platinum! We gotta escape a funeral we started a fight at! See, look at that! Aww. What are you doing? You and your shenanigans, kitten. I gotta watch out for this cat. Nah, he's like a modern cat, Luna. If I don't watch him, he'll open up doors and. Like, just see what's inside of him. Like, I have a. <laughs> I have a dresser drawer in my bedroom and Luna he opens up like the bottom dresser drawer so he can sleep in it when he first when he first did it it was just to annoy me personally but when I opened the drawer for him and, and he lay down and took a nap he lost interest and opened the drawer again I love I love them. I love my cats. Luna, man. I don't mind if he sleeps in it. I really don't. Because there's nothing inside of it. Honestly, I need to move back in the closet. I just haven't done it because um, because I've been rearranging my, my little, my little bedroom. Trying to find places for everything. 
down, down and screw myself over. I bought some, uh, I bought myself like a little present for like 30 bucks. It'd be something I've been wanting for a while. I don't know, just have them. So I decided to buy myself like it. You know, when, when they show up in like uh, next week. Probably next week sometime. I'll, I'll show you what I bought. It's been something I've been wanting for a while. You know, like, uh, the one thing I really like about uh, Damn May Cry is that you have, like, you can just hit, like, D-pad and, like, kill yourself, or you can s just use the D-pad to switch um, the vial, uh, whatever. You can use the D-pad to, uh, you know, to heal yourself or to switch the vials, get the one you want. Um, I haven't played, like, the sixth one, but I'm pretty sure... Um, they still haven't done that in Yakuza, so you still gotta pause the game and get in your inventory and heal yourself. It's honestly, uh, the reason why that works so well in Devil May Cry is because it doesn't, uh, it takes like a second, and it doesn't, um, uh, <laughs> it takes a second and it doesn't break up the flow of gameplay. He's chewing on my uh, box. I got my uh, I got my snowball in because I don't know why this cat does not like the color till, or he, why he likes to chew on things. I bought you a doggy toy and you tore that thing apart. Yeah, he. I bought him like a like a little rope for small dogs. He untied it. I don't know how he did it, but he untied it and left all the string on the floor. And I was just staring at this thing like gobsmacked. Like I don't know how he did it. I don't know how she did it because she's she's a little girl. <laughs> what are you doing, cat? You are just so adorable. Yeah, I love, I love my little Sir Platinum. Let me tell you. Like, this cat. This cat just likes it when it's just me and him, me and her. Well, me and her, uh, Luna and Sir, and my other cat, Delilah. But when somebody else feeds my bedroom, she's not happy. Like, uh. Like what she'll do is so uh, when Louis in here uh, laying down or just like pestering me, uh, start planning will run up to run up to Luna and kind of force him to uh pamper her. Right. Oh, it will force her to like uh, you know, to baby her because he's always done that ever since she was like a little kitten. Like Luna would hold her down and just like uh, you know, lick her and. You know, the, the cleaner and stuff. Because, like, cats do. And she likes that being babied. Yeah, when, uh... When my, uh, cousin came over. Like, she really wanted to pet that cat. But Star Platinum wanted nothing to do with her. And... When my cousin came over, you know, she wanted to pet her. Star Platinum. But Star Platinum was utterly offended by her presence. I have never seen a cat flip somebody off before, but Star Platinum did it. When my cousin, her mom, was, was leaving out the door, Star Platinum was staring at the uh, kitchen window. And she just, like, just breathed a sigh of relief, like, finally, they're gone. Those disgusting things are gone.
Like she loves it when Luna, when when just me and her, Luna and Delilah, in the bedroom. She just kind of chills out with us. My little star blonde was very happy to see him go. Yeah, my little star blonde was very happy to see him go. Yeah, man, like when my cousin tried to uh, pet her, she just had this offended look on her face. Like, how dare that diseased peasant even dare to try to touch me? Yeah, secret. I, I love her to death. I love I love my Luna. I love my Delilah. Delilah has always been a bit more independent. But she really likes peaches. I don't know why. She always really liked peaches. She, like, I have some. You just give her some peach and she just enjoys it. Like sometimes, uh, now nah, she, well, sometimes she eat like a bit of apple because she just really likes her fruits. Doesn't like vegetables so much. She likes her fruits. And like, so you eat like a bite or two, be happy. Even when. She's always been really independent, even when she was a little kid. He's mention me. This is probably my favorite conversation in the game. It's like, it's like, yeah, we started fighting off, you know, for like, basically for a mob boss, but you know, we're still friends, right? Yeah, we're still friends. Yeah, right now my kid is watching the is watching the same video I am, and she's just kind of staring at it. I hope she's not getting any ideas. Yeah, the reason I uh, and if you're wondering, yes, the reason why I call her Star Platinum is because of Joseph Bizarre Adventure. There's actually two reasons for the name. It's like I wasn't sure what to call her. And then uh, one day, she came up to my door, my bedroom door, and she started just, you know, she grabbed the bottom of it and started shaking the door in the middle of the night. And for some reason, I think I just got done watching like an episode of Golden Wind. And in my head, I could think of it was like, it was like, it's like, okay, the name's Star Platinum. So I can either call you Star Platinum or Rich. And look what we're near the end of the video. Thanks for watching.